you always want to get on the homeowner's side because once they are on your side, it will be much easier to work with them and the more likely that the short sale will successfully happen. So in order to do that, you want to be sympathetic towards their situation and think of anyone that you might personally know or someone that a friend knows that has gone through the same situation that the homeowner you are helping has gone through. You might even be able to use an example of another agent in your office that they helped. For example, my Uncle Joe or my friend Tom lost his job of 25 years at Hostess. It was really hard for him to sell the house that he raised his kids in, but now he is back to work and back on his feet. He owns a house again and took advantage of the low prices that houses are selling for. Of course, your story will be different, but you want to get across that there is hope if they take action. You want to find out what their story is and what led up to the point that they're at. You want to listen and have a genuine interest in them. If they invite you into their home, comment on things that they might have hanging up. For example, if they have pictures of kids on their wall and you have kids, ask them about their kids and how old they are. People love talking about their kids. Take it a step further and ask them for advice on raising kids if you're younger. For example, I'm fairly young dad with a one and three year old. Is there any advice you can give me? You are asking them for their expertise on something. This is setting it up for you, that they are an expert on raising kids and you are an expert on their situation in short sales. Another example is if they have pictures of bowling. Ask them about bowling, even if you hate bowling. Again, ask them for some advice. Man, how do you put that spin on the ball? I can barely keep it from going in the gutters when I go. When you do this, you're making fun of yourself, making yourself human, and you're propping them up. Your goal is for them to like you, and you want to be relatable. No one wants to work with somebody that is trying to sell them something. People like to work with people that they like. The more you become a listener and the more you ask questions, the more the people will like you. Once you establish a friendship and trust, you'll be able to help them with the short sale. They will not want work with you if they don't like you or if they don't trust you. A good book to read is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I encourage you to read it, especially if you're going to be going door to door. Once you understand these concepts, there will be no stopping you from becoming the top realtor in your office.